we're going to start off the same as Helen Bradley's introductory video um, with the exception of some of the durations in our project um, so we're going to go through it a little bit quicker if you need more details you can go back and watch her video or if you've already followed through with hers then you can skip ahead and uh, pick up where hers left off we're going to add a few things in the end after um, after what she had anyway so let's start a new project let's uh, maybe call it example product and give the make yourself the manager so let's just start right into adding our our tasks that we have uh, so we're going to start off with R and D and underneath R and D we're going to have brainstorm ideas we're going to have determine product design pro oops design product and test and fix these are going to be subtasks of R&D so we can go under our task tab and indent after our R&D group we're going to have packaging under packaging we're going to have design and manufacture so right now packaging is underneath of R&D but we don't want it to do to be same as design and manufacture they're supposed to be under packaging so let's first indent them and then if we outdent packaging it brings those back with it let's move on to production again so under production we're gonna have tool up and manufacture initial product same thing as we just did before oops I'm sorry indent those past production then outdent production after production we're gonna have delivery under that we need to package before we can ship and then ship product oops let's indent those past delivery and out then that back to the top so let's put in our durations brainstorming is going to be five the term of product is three design is six test and fix is five I now note that the summary pro the summary tasks uh, such as R&D doesn't have a time directly associated with it it is uh, going to be determined by the durations of everything following it so design packaging we have two days and ten days to manufacture it uh, production tooling up is going to take us three days and to make our first run is going to be two days under delivery to package the project product we're going to take one day and to ship it is going to be four now you include the amount of time it's going to take to actually get to the customer the next step is to uh, to plan out the sequence of events that need to occur um, so let's start off at the top so brainstorming it's going to have to come before determining then if we keep on going down what we need to determine the product before we can design it we need to design it before we can test it and fix it okay so the packaging we can start packaging after we determine the after we design the product but we don't have to wait for test and fix to be done so we can drag that down onto here and we have to design the packaging before we can manufacture it now when can we tool up our our facility meaning we're going to start preparing it for production 
we can do that again after the design of the product. But when do we want to actually manufacture the first ones? We don't want to do that until we've tested and fixed everything. Okay, but we also have to wait till tooling up is done. So we'll make both of those predecessors to tooling up. Sorry, manufacturing the initial product. And then when can we actually package the product? We can package it when we have manufactured it, but we also need to make sure we have packaging available. So that means after the manufacturer of the packaging. And then we can ship it once it's been packaged. This is where Helen's video ended off, but we added a few extra items in here. So the first things we're going to add, we're going to add some tasks underneath of brainstorm ideas. So to add a task, right click in the row below where you want it, click new. And that gives you a free line to add what you want. So part of brainstorming is going to be identify the target market. Okay, and we're going to indent that underneath of brainstorm. Let's add two more lines. So we'll right click new twice. We also want to identify target age, identify um, identify the product color. We also wanted to add some marketing. And that's going to be a top level task with four tasks underneath of it. Create an ad campaign, run ads. Sorry, run ads on TV, put ads on YouTube, and put ads on Google services. And these last four are going to be subtasks of marketing. Let's outdent that. Let's add our durations for the ones that we've added. So under brainstorming, we have two days, two days, and one day. Under our marketing, we put 10, 10, 10, and 10. Okay. So the thing to note is that our brainstorm ideas still maintained we still maintain the same predecessor of brainstorm ideas to determine product, which we're going to keep the same. But we're also going to add these three just are going to be in sequence. So you'll notice that this has to happen. The determined product has to occur after identify product color because that is part of the overall brainstorm ideas. Let's see, when can we start our marketing? We can start creating an ad campaign when we know what the product is. So determine product. It's going to be the predecessor to create an ad campaign. Oops. And creating an ad campaign is going to pre be ahead of playing those ads anywhere, whether it's TV, 
YouTube or otherwise.